Hi guys, today I'm going to be reacting to Grave of the Fireflies, which was a patron request by RB Games 37 also known as Raymond. Raymond, if you're watching this, thank you so much for requesting Grave of the Fireflies. You made a few requests and we agreed that I'll react to Grave of the Fireflies. So Grave of the Fireflies is a Studio Ghibli movie. Hopefully I'm right about saying that. Um, and I have reacted to a few Studio Ghibli movies in the past um so do check out my anime movie reaction playlist i do believe i have a playlist for that if i don't then i'll try to make one um or you can just find them through my video history unfortunately most of those reactions the links for them are no longer available because my previous mega account got terminated and i think one of my media Mediafire accounts also got terminated so sadly some of those reactions of previous Studio Ghibli reactions are no longer available um, but you can still check it out and see which ones are still available because I don't know I have no clue which ones are available and which one aren't um, so I really do like Studio Ghibli they are absolutely amazing with their animation storytelling and yeah, just in general, making great movies. I particularly enjoyed Kiki's Delivery Service and I hope to God the reaction to that is still available, but I have a feeling it's not. But yeah, just check out my reaction playlist for that. Um, so there's Grave of Firefly. So I'm, not, I'm going to be honest, I was a bit hesitant to ever think about reacting to this i did get a few requests in the past to react to this the only reason is because i know that this is a very very sad movie and i don't want to be crying by the end of this personally but i'm still gonna react to it nonetheless because it's it was requested thank you again raymond and i hope you have a really good birthday as well because i know your birthday is coming up or has already been done uh depending on when i upload this yeah this is a really sad movie it's i think the basic storyline i did read like a basic description a basic a basic premise about what this is about and it's about two children who have survived the world the second world war and i guess their survival story um yeah so this is definitely going to be a very tragic story but i don't know how tragic exactly um i hope it's not as tragic of an ending that i think it might have um but anyway let's get on to it so this is a time of reaction this is a watch along so do download the link to the movie that i'll put in the comment section so do download the link to the movie and then sync that up with my reaction or alternatively you can find my reaction to this with the movie included on patreon so if you really really want the movie included in the reaction head over to my patreon without any further ado let's get on to this movie in three two one start By the way, guys, my knowledge of the World War is not good. So, <laughs> I I mean, I doubt that I need to be knowledgeable, but, yeah, I'm just, like, laying, you know. 1945,900. Oh. Already started off really grim. And it's going to tell us their story. A dead person? Jeez, man. How old are they? What the hell is it? Well, they're doing nothing about it. So he's still alive. Okay. He, he looked dead for a second. Before. At least someone gave him some food. Of course, um, back in those days, it was really hard to get rations. 
resources were scarce, Setsuko. What the fuck? You're supposed to give that to him. Why the fuck are you eating it? That's for him. Why is no one feeding them properly? Oh my god, what the hell? Okay, was it just empty? Fireflies! This little kid... It's quite cheery music. Sakuma's drops. Her dad. Great with fireflies. Presented by Kametsu. Just wonder, is this like based on a true story? I don't know the context for the story for this movie. I have no idea. So I think this is after the World War, the Second World War, like not during it, the aftermath of it. That was supposed to be for the guy. But they went to know, obviously. What? Oh, so this during the World War? Should it be on the fire? Should be. So this is in their past. Setsuko. The brothers and sisters. <laughs> That's useful. So my bad, they're actually brothers and sister. Is the dad is taking part in the war or is he already dead? Sato. Quickly take cover.
Man, this is scary. And she's supposed to hide, yo. Yo! Take cover, man! Oh my days. Take cover quickly. Man. Oh, that's horrible. So was Japan also in danger back then? I thought... I thought it was just um, the European countries. What the fuck? Damn. And it sucks that a lot of the houses are made of wood as well. Man. No, like... Uh, no secure house. No fireproof house. And they're still throwing shit. The fuck? And what did it government do man what is the government doing they're running towards a particular location What about the army? What th Aren't they supposed to protect the citizens? What? Where can he go though? Underground? Or just escape altogether? Like they are? Jeez, the entire city or country. Oh my days, what about your parents? Uh. Oh my god, that's a baby. Oh my god. Oh, that's horrible. Army? Where? These people aren't protected. Why did you guys not go there? Can easily take a hit. Okay, so she should be safe then. If we get better shoes. <laughs> How much? That doesn't look like a lot.
Jeez. Makes it putting the fire out. It just completely destroyed. I'm really liking the soundtrack for this so far. It fits the tone well. Because he's part of the army. What? Oh my god. Man, this is grim. This is seriously grim. What's not looking? How is that something to laugh about, dick? Some people have lost their families. I mean, this is a really interesting story premise, but I have a feeling that they're not going to make it by the end of this movie. And if they do, they're going to go through some serious struggle. And this poor child is already going through ch struggle. Hurt. Sister. I, I was wondering about the gender. Oh! Oh, man. I hope she's okay. I mean, enough to be alive. Jesus, crime to you. Oh, what? What the? F she got, b but she was in the shelter. That's some serious injuries, serious burns. What the fuck? I thought she was under the shelter. Oh my god. Oh my god, see, seeing your own mum like that, oh man. How could she get, like, the worst out of everyone? Oh my god, the burns.
And he seems pretty used to it. I would have had like a stronger reaction. That's an awful thing. That's like severe burns. Best not to let her see her. I feel so bad for these kids, man. That poor kid. You can't. Oh. Oh, man, those burns. She won't even be able to recognize her mom. That is awful. Be strong, little kid. Going to need it. She's not even looking. I wish I could do that. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck's sake. Is she dead? And all those flies that were on her, oh my god. What the fuck? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, did you just burn a whole bunch of bodies? There was no dignity in that. What the fuck? I can understand cremation, but like, did you get the family's permission to do that? What the fuck? Did you see how they were piled up? That that was not respectful at all. No sense of respect. So is the mom dead then? Or is she just getting transferred? And what's this um, metaphor or, I don't know, analogy with the fireflies? Because that's the film title, Grave of the Fireflies. I don't really understand it. Oh my god.
There were flies all over her. I mean, even I don't know. It's a beautiful ring. Is she really alive though? She looks dead to me. But I don't know. They said they were going to transfer to a truck. Because if you say that, how long can you keep that for? If you just lie to her like that. For some food and more of those. Is that clean water though? Good thing there's a bursting pipe. What is that? What was that? It looks like a wreck. Dried bonito. Oh, it's pickled plums. And that's why you had that reaction. Yeah, why didn't you tell her? But you could have told her. I was like thinking, like, <laughs> she looked so bad and there were flies on her, so she must be dead. Oh man, how are you gonna how are you gonna break this to her? Oh man, that poor family. Oh, I hate frogs. I'd love to see fireflies in real life. Oh. 
<laughs> what a lovely glow. They're very... Damn, there's so many of them in this area. Very pretty. Sweets. <laughs> She's so cute. Chew your food. I forgot what they said. Who is she to them? Like, a maid? Aunt? I'm just wondering, is she going to ask about her mum again? It's going to have to be told to her. <clears throat> he was working. Everything's burned down. Did you really? I hope he's okay. Ten days. Everyone's suffering. Shelter. So you're taking in. Oh, they just. Oh, so she just took them in. Maybe take off the cloak you're wearing. Who created the soundtrack? Soundtrack is really good. Wow, lots of food. The animation actually looks pretty decent. Obviously, it's not like the most recent type of animation, but this is an old film. I believe this is an 80s film. 
Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, Shirley Ghibli always does really well in like getting those high budget films. They're so cute. I'm just wondering how old he is and how old she is. Um, okay. <laughs> Damn, that's a mark. Oh, two marks. Like eczema. She needs some ointment for that. It's nice they're having like a good time, even though it's a really bad situation that they're in. That's so cute. Crap. You can't just grab it. <laughs> oh. Hiding from you? Oh no. What the? Dead person? Oh dear. Jeez, no sharks in the sea or anything? That's quite deep in the water. Is my man really just wearing underwear like a fong? <laughs> I'm sorry. Again. No mother to take care of them. You guys need to take cover. Come on. Can't be helped, you have to. Oh 
to. It's very understandable. Oh, poor kid. The whole family, oh. Oh, God. Her wearing the kimono. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to get rid of, like, parents' things. So I still have my dad's clothes in my wardrobe. No, I mean, not in my my mum's wardrobe. We're having a hard time getting rid of it. <laughs> Some actual food. <clears throat> the whole p is that a whole pot of rice? So I guess it is. Uh... Respect to this woman. Oh my days. She's taking care of all these kids. All these orphans. So much respect for this woman. He's just a kid. Wow. Bit rude. I mean, everyone's struggling, man. How rude. Damn. She's said that for like the hundredth time now. Poor kid. Y you can't. That's not a sustained meal. Are they really going to reunite with their dad? I hope so. Mm. 
Man, that's tough. At least say getting provisions. Oh, for a second, I thought they were hoes. Are those hoes in the umbrella? No, better than nothing, I suppose. Well, at least they're cooking for themselves. They're not relying on you. They're kids, man. Fs. They just lost their mother. In July? What time is it now? She's hungry again. This is just a sweet. It's not nutritious. No more? Okay, time to go hunting or something. What about vegetables? Free left. What's that supposed to do? Just wash him? Oh, can have it like a juice? Like a fruit juice? Oh, that's clever. Okay, I take back what I said. I said uh, I respected her, but she's just being a... She's a kid! Man, she's just being a bitch. They don't have a mother to, like... You know, take care of them properly. Fucking hell, it's gonna take some time to adjust to like trying to take care of themselves. Oh, 
Quickly! Who are you to tell them what to do, man? Yeah, she's just turned into a bitch. Before she was nice, now she's turned into a fucking bitch. Although I have to admit, like, if she's... If the little one's gonna cry all the time, I'm probably gonna get a bit annoyed. But... I know they're g struggling a lot, so I don't know. Depends. Do you see any rays anyway? Okay. <laughs> Okay, you need to stand up for yourself to this woman. Tell her to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Tell her to shut the fuck up. Don't cause trouble. Your lucky is nice and polite. Now flee to a better place. Oh, why do I feel like something bad is going to happen? I feel like it's going to be set on fire because of one of the rays. I mean, it's no sad movie for no reason. <laughs> I mean, no child should have to go through this. At least it, they're doing pretty well now. Oh, what's this? He's be careful around fire. They're making a stew. Oh, rice. I mean, I don't know how they taste like, but no way would I have frog for breakfast or anything. <laughs> Those things jump about. They give me nightmares.
shit. Do they have to pee together? That's kind of weird. <laughs> they were bathing together before, but I didn't want to say anything because I know that's part of the Japanese culture thing. Peeing together? Weird. <laughs> Hair clip. Jeez, you collected a lot. To be honest, if I had that many fireflies around me, I I'd want to go. <laughs> I wouldn't just stay there. There's way too many flies. <clears throat> Wait, what? What are they seeing? <clears throat> Is that the dad? Julie's been informed about what happened to the mother. Can he not take care of his kids? He knows a song. So what we saw before was just like what he imagined. Are they just sleeping outside? Hmm. <laughs> Wait, what? That fly- Did that firefly just die? Okay, there's some symbolism going on with the fireflies. Oh, that's not a good omen. That's some foreshadowing. That firefly just died. <coughs> the fuck? crying now did she just bury a whole bunch of dead fireflies i didn't know are they really short-lived i don't know anything about fireflies 
So they just die very quickly like that. I was, I was just saying. So th th there's a symbolism. Everyone has short lives here. Literally. Man, that's fucked. Interesting that there are only two here. And there's two of them. Don't raid it. Don't steal. <clears throat> no. Bitch, you can't just... Man, that's so grim. the fuck? No manners whatsoever? What the fuck is wrong with you? That's not your food. Wait, what? What? Will she accept them back? <clears throat> he didn't even say anything bad. He, they didn't really do anything bad. They're not going back. Man, it's awful. And the father is not even like, he can't even protect his own children because he's fighting for everyone else. Sorry, but what kind of father figure is that? And he's got oranges. Was that an apple? I mean, you have to you have to do what you need to do, man. Even though that's not yours. Oh my god. Is not sus. Don't be sus about this. Just let them be. That was a close one. This is just gonna end horribly. And I hate thinking like this. I hate thinking in such a like pessim pessimistic way. But. I mean, I know it's a sad movie, so... And it's about the World War, so... <laughs> There's no happy ending. It can't be. Oh, 
Jeez, how much eczema? Get some oint. Can is there no way to get medicine? Malnutrition. Oh god. Is there no doctor or nurse around? Oh my days. Sugar. Oh my god, just let him be. Just one. You got plenty. Oh man. You seem to have plenty. Oh my days. Is there no doctor around? I'm just shocked. Seriously, no. <sighs> Fuck you. Oh my god, this is horrible. Yeah, asshole. You should have put it as a so. That was a so on him. Okay, this police officer seems chill. Man, I thought he was going to get into big trouble. <clears throat> That's a, quite a beating, man. And there's no one to help them. Not even the fucking father. He's been acting so strong for her. Is he sick too? It's a beating. And obviously she doesn't know that. Oh my god. How are we going to fix her? Oh my god. This shit again? Holy shit, they're cramped, the shelters. Uh. Oh my god. Yo, you're doing this when they're... Oh, he's so hungry. Oh my god. He just raided the house for food. <coughs> uh, she does. She looks sick.
This does not look good. My days. It's just really sad. Holy shit! Yo, be careful! Why is this still happening? What is the army doing, man? These people are still getting raided. Still getting fired at. Why does he look like he put on a few pounds? What the hell? Damn. That's clever. Gotta do what you gotta do for survival. I'm not judging. Where did he get those from? Where'd she go? Oh no. Yo, you should have tried to find a doctor. A nurse. She's alive still, right? This poor girl. <sighs> Give her some water. Oh my god. What the hell is this disease? So there is a doctor. Why did you not go to him in the first place? There she is from the heat. See what it just hurts the skin. Oh, so it's an allergy. Wait, so it hurts us. We can have malnutrition, tested diarrhea. Well, you don't have a choice. You're sick, girl. Are you serious? What kind of doctor just says, oh, you just need food? Come on, that is a rash. That You could at least give an ointment for that. Come on. Are you kidding me? Just food? Please. So this poor guy is like trying so hard to get food, but it's not just it's not simple like that. Food is scarce from a puddle. Oh my god. Oh 
It's really hitting me in the feels, man. Seeing them struggle so much, especially now that it's getting towards the end. Oh, man. Surrendered. Yeah, J Japan surrendered because of the Hi Hiroshima bombing. Give me more information in the comment section. I don't want to say the wrong thing, but I'm aware of that. Oh my god. And he wasn't even, like, sending provisions to you guys whilst he was alive. <coughs> Shit, be careful. But the war's over now. So why are there planes? Why are there still planes? Man, they've lost both parents now. I mean, not that the dad did much for them, but still sad. What? What? What the hell? Did she not know? What are you eating? Go! Damn, she's so hungry. She's just eating whatever. Uh, that's not rice bowls. That looks off. No, that's a recipe to get sick and then die. Did you eat one? Some proper food. Jeez, how is she so damn poorly? I know she's a lot younger, but... Like, all the food's been given to her, really, and not to him. 
Now he's been sacrificing himself so that she'll get more food. And she's still sickly. He's a, been a very good brother. Eat all of that. You need it. What? 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 No, no, no. You don't just say that so casually. What the fuck? It was just... You were giving her food, though. Oh my god. You were giving her food. I was thinking he needed to go to the doctor immediately. As soon as she said she's got diarrhea... He was a bit late in like going to the doctor but not like the doctor was being any useful. Oh my god. That's so fucked. Finally back home, but he lost his whole entire family. Man, that is sad. He could even save her. He tried so hard. He literally tried to find food and he did. But he was just too late. So what happens now? Oh my god. That's, that's fucked. That's seriously fucked. I mean, I had a feeling, but I thought both of them would die. Oh, man, just, that's so sad. And I wish the father would have been able to, like, help his children by sending something out. I mean, I know he's a soldier, he's too busy, like, fighting and stuff, but it just makes me think that things could have changed if... And also, with Sato going to the doctor a bit sooner, a bit earlier... And it would have helped if there were more rations as well. Well, I will say that it's, it's an, it was an amazing story. Definitely very interesting. I'm so glad I reacted to this. It's, it's just... It's sad the, the kind of story it is, but it, it tells you a bit about the war. <coughs> Rest in peace, Setsuko.
night too soon. He was just a little kid. Oh my god. He's burying... To bury your own sibling. Or any family member. And to cremate as well, like, oh. Oh my god, I don't want to watch this. Literally a grave of the fireflies, literally now. Absolutely awful. The amount of suffering both of those children went through. Put her ashes in the tin. To do that to one of your own, man. I just, uh, man, he's so strong. He is so damn strong. Died way too young. Rest in peace, Setsuko. Rest in peace to the rest of his family and to all those who lost their lives. He's just all by himself now, no one. This is city. Oh my god, okay. That was incredibly sad, especially towards the end. I thought it was going to be... I'm not going to lie, like, the first half of it, it didn't seem that sad. But it was definitely an emotional ride overall. And a great story, a very interesting story. Um, Something very heartbreaking, but at the same time, it's one of those stories that tell you a bit about the struggle that people had back then um i don't know how true i don't know if this is based on a true story i don't know if it's loosely based on a true story or if it's just a random fictional account um but nonetheless like a lot of people were struggling to find rations during and after the second world war so i do know that i don't know much else about the second world war but a lot of people died, obviously a lot of soldiers died, and ja Japan surrendered, um, especially after the Hiroshima bombing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but, I mean, you guys know what you need to know. Yes, yeah, very sad. Um, I was, in terms of the actual story, um, I'm just really mad at the woman now. I'm really mad because of how that woman that took in um Seta and Setsuko as orphans because she was starting to get fed up with them for like not being able to take care of themselves she was like she was like really scolding them and I'm just like well you took them in so what did you expect of course you're gonna have to like take care of them I know there's a lot at stake here with like r not being able to find rashes and stuff but that gives you no right to like be a 
bitch about it. And then because she had a problem with it, he said Sata he had to like leave. He had to leave that place, then find his own home and find his own resources. And I'm just like that made things so much more difficult for you and Setsuko. Um <clears throat> and sadly Setsuko was diagnosed with malnutrition and she got diarrhea and she got this allergy apparently from the seawater that was giving her this really bad ba- back rash so it was just absolutely awful um that they were going through all of that suffering and him resorting to stealing because that's how bad things were there were barely any resources and food available and he had to do what he had to do to make sure him and his little sister survived and he was he was he took care of her so well but he was just too late in the end and oh man it's, it's heartbreaking that's really heartbreaking at the end um but it was a really good movie Thank you Raymond so much for requesting this. I really am glad that I reacted to this. Um sorry if my if I barely said anything much in certain parts of the movie. It's one of those movies that you just want to watch and because of the emotions that you feel, the emotions that I felt it's not it's not something that I can express so well. Um, but anyway, um, what do you think of this movie? Let me know. Stay tuned for more.